Vanderpump Rules is rumored to be coming back for a final season. In that case, it's time for cast members to reveal whether or not they want to be a part of it. An insider has already weighed in on Ariana Medix's potential decision, and apparently, she's got some demands. Read on to find out what they are. Ariana Medix's Vanderpump Rules Season 12 Contract Bravo superfan and author Thea D'Souza just revealed that according to her insider knowledge, Ariana wants to make a return for the proposed final season of VPR. However, her comeback might not be as easy as signing her name on a dotted line. Souza recollected that for season 11, Maddox had some requirements in her filming agreement. Specifically, she wanted to refrain from filming with ex, Tom Sandoval, as much as humanly possible. Thea speculated that the reality TV star might issue those same parameters for her season 12 contract. There's also the discussion of how much she would get paid. Souza says that Ariana was paid $600,000 for the previous season and implies that she would most likely bargain for a higher fee this time around. Madix hasn't publicly addressed Thea's comments just yet. Madix stays booked and busy. Just because Vanderpump Rules hasn't been filming for a while, that doesn't mean Ariana has been sitting around doing nothing. The reality TV star has kept herself busy ever since season 11 wrapped. For starters, she made her Broadway debut with a leading role in Chicago. She went on to return to reality TV, not as a traditional member, but as a host. Madix was the presenter of Love Island USA season 6. The dating competition has already been renewed, and it's assumed that Ariana will return. Not to mention, she was a contestant in season 32 of Dancing with the Stars, and she even took home third place. Needless to say, whether Bravo agrees to her demands or not, Ariana has found plenty of other ways to make money and gain an even bigger fan base. Vanderpump Rules, is it time to call it quits? Speaking of fan bases, while Ariana seems keen on making a return to VPR, fans have a completely different take on the matter. Specifically, most think that because of her success in her other ventures, she should walk away from Vanderpump Rules. In a Reddit thread, fans shared their view that Maddox should take a back seat from the series and let the rest of the cast keep it going. Here are a few of the comments. I love Ariana, but I think she should move on. She's living her best life. She doesn't need the show. It's time to retire, girl. Do you think Ariana should leave VPR? Would you watch season 12 of Vanderpump Rules? Let us know all of your thoughts in the comments below. Ariana Maddox was no longer the same woman she had been a year ago. After the bombshell breakup with Tom Sandoval and the scandal that followed, she emerged stronger, smarter, and ready to reshape her future. As season 11 of Vanderpump Rules loomed on the horizon, she found herself in a rare position. She was the one holding the power. For the first time in her reality TV career, Ariana Maddox was calling the shots in her contract, and she wasn't about to let anyone take advantage of her narrative. It had been a tumultuous season prior. The scandal had drawn millions of viewers to Vanderpump Rules, with fans glued to their screens, waiting to see how the fallout between her and Sandoval would unfold. But Ariana had more in mind than just being a plot point in someone else's drama. This time, she was stepping into a new role, one that gave her control over how her story was told. When Bravo came to the table to negotiate her return, Ariana didn't hold back. She was no longer the side character in Tom's world, and she made that clear from the start. I won't be reduced to a victim, she had said, her voice firm. If I'm coming back, it's on my terms. The producers had expected pushback, Ariana had gained popularity unlike ever before, and with her increased leverage, it wasn't shocking that she would want a bigger say. But what they hadn't expected was the level of detail Ariana had prepared. She had specific clauses she demanded be included in her contract. First, there was the issue of how her personal life would be portrayed. I won't be forced into confrontations, she stated. After the emotional toll of the last season, Ariana was done with the endless toxic interactions. She wanted more balance and, more importantly, control over when and how she engaged with her castmates, especially Sandoval. 
In previous seasons, producers would manipulate moments, coaxing her into uncomfortable confrontations for the sake of drama. That wasn't going to happen this time. And if I choose not to be filmed with him, Ariana added, that decision will be respected. This was a major shift for a reality show like Vanderpump Rules, where cast members were usually required to be in scenes together no matter the circumstances. Ariana's stance was bold, but she wasn't going to waver. Her mental health was non-negotiable. Next on the list was compensation. Ariana knew her worth. She had seen how her fan base had grown exponentially since the scandal broke, with social media exploding in support of her, and she wasn't about to let that go unnoticed. She demanded not just a pay raise, but a restructured deal where she earned more per episode than she ever had before. If Bravo wanted her story to bring in ratings, they were going to have to pay for it. However, it wasn't just about money. Ariana was thinking long-term, and she had already begun to dip her toes into new ventures outside the show. The cocktail book she co-authored had been a success, and she had other entrepreneurial ideas bubbling under the surface. I need flexibility in my schedule for my other business ventures, she declared. No longer did she want to be tethered to a demanding filming schedule that left her little room to pursue her passions. The final point she made was perhaps the most surprising of all. I want to use my platform to elevate voices that need to be heard, she said. This wasn't just about her. Ariana had grown through her experiences and wanted to shine a light on issues she felt strongly about, mental health, toxic relationships, and female empowerment. She requested that the show allocate time for her to explore these topics through her storyline. Bravo execs were initially hesitant. How would this fit into the usual drama-fueled landscape of Vanderpump Rules? But Ariana was adamant. If they wanted her, they had to evolve the show with her. As negotiations wore on, it became clear that Bravo wasn't dealing with the same woman they had before. Ariana was no longer content to be just another reality TV star whose life was picked apart for entertainment. She was setting a new standard, one where the cast had a say in how their stories were told. It was empowering, not only for her, but potentially for others in the industry who often felt trapped by the contracts they had signed. In the end, Bravo agreed to most of her demands. They recognized that Ariana was one of the main reasons viewers were still invested in the show, and losing her wasn't an option. The new contract allowed her to shape her narrative, ensure her well-being, and give her the space to grow her outside endeavors.